I'm Glenn at COF Fuel Team. This round, I got you a little John Boat Suzuki 2.5 horsepower slash various fishing videos marathon. It's going to be a long one, but hey, it's got a lot of good information there. A lot of fun with the John Boat as well as some little things that I kind of mixed it up with when uh, uh, over the years trying to put some stuff together to get that John Boat working. So, hey, check it out. Oh, looks like the day use area is open now. We'll go on the other side. Little bit choppy. All right, we're out here. We got the uh, gear set up. That seat's working really nice. Charlie likes it. Don't you like it, Charlie? Ah. All right. So we're just going to work our way to this other point and we're going to bounce bottom where the water's a little bit calmer because it's pretty rough right now. Getting some good, good one-third throttle right now. We're moving, uh, we're pretty good so far. There's the power plant. There's over there at, uh, oh, I think it's something Clear Creek, Clear Lake Park. It's got the island. That's where we usually like doing some bottom bouncing there. We're currently at Chicky Creek. And we're going to kind of check out some of the points here and kind of run the engine a little bit more and give it some uh, break-in period. Maybe even catch a fish. Got the uh, line out and it's just basically bouncing on the bottom, going really slow. And we're just going to work our way to some shallower water and hopefully we'll get it to where we can get the bounce. And, well, maybe we'll get a fish. All right, we're just working our way along to the shoreline and we'll get to where we'll be bottom bouncing. Uh, it just got a kind of play it by ear right now. I want to get that right bounce and then uh, we know we're in the money zone. Oh, Charlie over here is having a good old time, just kind of checking out things. He's got to smell everything, senses everything. Awesome dog. All right, we're getting a good bounce now and we're starting to get into some shallow water areas. So hopefully we'll be getting some hits here soon. Kind of bouncing the uh, brush, so wish us luck. Wrapping up things here, just kind of running on one third, headed back to the boat ramp. No bites, nothing on the point, but hey, that's fishing. But that said, having a good old time with the little 2.5 Suzuki horsepower and the little 12 foot John boat. Hey, hey uh, ain't nothing better than being out on the lake on a, on a chill day. All right, cool beans. Until next time, catch all there. Good luck, good fishing. Right, it's definitely slick out here. I'll show you real quick what I mean. You can just slide. Look at that. Right here, just sliding. check out some of the points here and kind of run the engine a little bit more and give it some uh, break-in period maybe even catch a fish got the uh, line out and it's just basically bouncing on the bottom going really slow and we're just gonna work our way to some shallower water oh Charlie over here is having a good old time just kind of checking out things he's got to smell everything senses everything awesome dog we're getting a good bounce now and we're starting to get into some shallow water areas, so hopefully we'll be getting some hits here soon. All right, we're gonna try this uh, Aluma weld right here to uh, fix some of these uh, abrasions where I got a hole now in the boat where it gets a slight heat. And then uh, we'll see how it goes. It's still a little hot, but 
we've got the uh, cracks for the little metal built up and I think we got enough we'll test it and see if it uh, holds water all right this is that a loop weld loop weld rods built it up pretty high so we can wear it down some it's not the greatest uh, job but uh, I think it works just gonna test it and make sure it's watertight okay we're gonna go put it on the uh, John boat here with our little handy tool with the slot just a PVC half inch or three-quarter inch one of those things all right so I don't have to grab it anymore I got this baby right there Okay, here's that John Boat clamping seat that we showed the other day and someone had uh, mentioned that the tool that we had, you still have to tighten, after you tighten the wing nuts, you still have to tighten some uh, bolts on there, or at least the nuts on the other side. And what we noticed is ours tightens without having to do that. And maybe it's a newer design or something. So let me show you. So here's the wing nut. Here's a lock washer. And there's the bolt. And what we noticed is there's no, there's no bolt to tighten on this end anymore, or at least maybe on this model. What happens is, is it runs all the way through as a continuous rod. They bent it and it comes back out again. And then on this side, you do the same thing. So we, what we've been doing is, is we set the one side right here to the to the seat, front part of the seat, and the back part of the seat on the John boat, we're putting this, and it's moving back and forth. And what we're having to do is really just tighten uh, just one set of wing nuts, and this tool is working out pretty good for us. So this may be a newer model. Uh, here it is. This, this this may be a newer model than what some of the other ones that you see. So this is that Atwood one where uh, it's a continuous rod right here. Let me go and show you over here again. Right here, maybe you might be able to see also. Let me, there we go. It's a continuous rod coming all the way through comes back this way and back out and so you're tightening here and you're tightening here and this is uh, secured to the seat itself so it's pretty much tightening itself and kind of kind of clamping to the the John boat bench with these in place so uh, we don't have that problem when having to tighten the nuts on the on the on the bolt because it's one continuous rod so all right and uh, I'm trying to remember we picked this one up at uh, this we purchased online from Amazon. I'll go look again and put a link in there, but uh, I'll give you an idea where we got it and uh, which one it is. It's the one that the continuous rod, there's no bolt on this side or that side to uh, contend with. All right. All right, all for now. Like these questions and hopefully this will be helpful. This is us learning to fish by our trials and errors. All right, next time we'll catch y'all later. Good luck and good vision to it this time. A wonton tomato. I got a wonton tomato. A wonton tomato. I can jump it in two. Got the uh, John boat out this morning and uh, just did it without the uh, motor. We just rode with our homemade oars and ended up uh, doing some jug lining and got a bunch of these guys. Uh, cool stuff. All right, Charlie, where are the fish? You got to tell us where the fish are. That way? Which way? Huh? Where is the fish, Charlie? Tell us. 
Tell us, where's the fishy? Where's the fishy? Charlie, he's got his fish radar on. He says we're around the point, so we're gonna go back this way around the point. What do you say? Okay, so Charlie has found our spot. This is the area, just around the point. We got about 15 miles per hour wind, but you can see that we're out of the uh, wind, so we can just set up here and try doing some jug line. It's about maybe four or five feet, and uh, jug lines work really well here. We've got the shad now, so uh, about three, four casts, and we're able to get a good amount of shad. So let's do this. Okay, so we've got the jug line set. We've got three over here. And then we've got a set over here, and Charlie's definitely checking out one, trying to see if he's got one. But we gotta let it soak a little bit more. Feel anything? Yeah, yeah, you got one. Yeah, yeah, you got one. Oh, he's a keeper. Cheaper to keeper. No, it's not little. That's a nice one. All right, first fish of the day is a catfish, just like we wanted. This is our second one of the day, getting a good hit. Looks like a little channel cat. Yeah, a little channel cat for number two hoo-hoo, for you hoo-hoo. Okay, there's Charlie. He's got his eye fast on a, a jug, thinking there's one on there. So let's go, let's take his lead and go for it. Okay, this one over here actually moved all the way from our right to left, and in fact, we may have to chase it down here, so let's go for it. Oh. Yeah? Just like the other one. The yeah. All right, number three, another blue cat. So, so far we've got uh, one channel, two blue. Cool beans. All right, this is one that actually moved a good ways. Even I saw the catfish jump. So, let's see if we can get him in. Feel anything? Nope. Oh, a lot of line. He stole a lot of line. That's why he may still be... Yeah, he's still on. It just the line came loose. He's pulling good. He's going to come underneath you. This is another blue. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's a bigger one. Yeah, All right, I got two blues. Blues, clues. All right, I like blues. Okay, here's another one. Oh, he's a little one, a little blue. It looks legal, but we're gonna let him go. All right, got another one here. Let's see what this guy is. Oh. Not bad, another blue cat. All right, another blue cat. Oh well, well, crappie on a jug line, that was cool. In the shallows. All right, we got a keeper maybe? Yeah, I thought there was one on all the peat ones. All right. And right now I think oh, he there's got a off. one on the... Oh, he was just on. Yeah, he got off. Oh. Charlie, you see the catfish? Where's the catfish? Which one is it? <laughs> Okay, let's go get that one. Which one is it? Far right? Yeah. Yeah, see, he's moved it on the other side of this one now. It's the one in the middle now. Okay. Alright, I got this one. Another blue cat. Cool beans. Under the boat. Nice one, nice one. All right. All right. We got him. That's a nice one. He's pulling nicely. Oh, he's running. He's running. Yeah, it's a white bass. Nice size white bass. Alrighty, cool. Alright, there's today's catch. Cool beans. Alright, there's our beer battered fish fry recipe. Got a little wicked ale, uh, black cherry. Ooh, tasty, tasty. Got some things that we did to uh, make the batter. And oh, by the way, there's the batter. 
and it's cooking and well not cooked yet but it's cooking we'll have it here shortly good stuff we're just putting in the little catfish nuggets into the fryer get it to a golden brown in about three to four minutes at 400 and oh by the way it'll look tasty all right and there's the homemade tartar sauce which definitely makes a a big uh, big difference when it comes to eating this beer battered fish fry all right take a look at that beer battered fish fry Okay, here we are at Brockdale Park, or correction, Highland Park at Lake Levon. We're gonna go try out the 12-foot John Boot with the Suzuki 2.5 horsepower. Okay, uh, got it off the dock here, and there it is. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, I haven't started it yet. So we'll cross our fingers. All right, let's see what we can do with these babies. We got it started. Let's see how it goes. Probably need to adjust the trim a little. Yeah, I probably just need to adjust the trim a little. It's a little riding a little bit high. We'll go into the wind here. See how it goes. somewhere all right so far no hits but uh, probably just need to slow down the troll a little but you can see it's uh, or you can hear that it's a very quiet engine very nice okay so far we've got it at the lowest throttle and we get enough of that little wiggle that we like on the on the uh, pole when we know we're bound at bottom bouncing so hopefully maybe we'll get a hit here shortly we're just gonna keep working our way down the uh, down the shoreline here and see what happens. All right, we're just kind of heading out to, I think the water treatment plant and just taking our stroll basically, going really slow, up the speed just a little bit, not much. We're still getting the bottom bounce on the rod, so that's good. And so far no hits though. But, hey, this isn't bad at all. Okay, uh, oh, we're just a little bit away from the water treatment plant. Kind of work our way through these trees, get to that one buoy, and then that's the channel marker, and we'll make it in there. Okay, we're up here in the channel now, and we may have to put more gas in the little motor here, because we can hear it kind of kicking in a little here. So we'll go find a place to tie up real quick, and then we'll refuel, and then we'll be good to go again. Well, uh, false alarm, we have a lot of gas still. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I think probably used maybe a quarter of it. So I think we'll go back and do some more bottom bouncing here and maybe slow it down a little since we're in the channel area. All we're doing is a slab and jig rig and toss it behind us. And I got these rod holders, but I kind of like just putting it right there and 
I can grab it really quick if need be. We're just waking, working our way back to uh, the shoreline area and maybe we'll do some bottom bouncing with the with the slab and jig rig there. So far no hits either on the swim bait or the slab and jig rig or the Rapala. So slow day today but hey we're just having fun out here with this little Suzuki 2.5. So, uh, so far, we're liking this little 2.5 horsepower. Got it out on the jump boat. It's a little rough day today, but we're still able to get out there. Didn't get any fish, but hey, that's how it is. <laughs> still fun. Hi, I'm Glenn, City of Island Fishing Field Team, COAF Field Team on YouTube. And this round, well, yours truly finally got that uh, uh, Suzuki 2.5 on a little 12 foot John boat. Got it out there the other day. Still got some video to post on that and still breaking it in. I think we got about another five hours. But that said, um, did get a seat for the John boat. Been meaning to get one of these over the years. And I like these because it's the, the clamp on style. This one's from Swivelies Atwood. I'll put a link over there in Amazon. But this is what uh, I put on there. And what I like about it is it comes with a little swivel base and it clamps on so I can move it from the front seat or front bench to the back bench because, well, when my significant other is on the front bench, well, I won't have it. But when she's not there, I will have it on the back bench where I'll be uh, operating the motor. <laughs> All right, so that's it. That's it. And, of course, uh, I got one of these seats over there at Academy. Let me grab it real quick. <sighs> Marine Raider low back seat, charcoal gray. I already put it on the boat. It looks pretty good. I'm liking it. And got it mounted here now. And the only thing that I've done is when I was putting it on the boat, on the bench, I had to kind of wiggle my fingers underneath the seat to tighten up the, the wing nuts. So I decided to make one of these little PVC things. All oh, there's just a slot here. I can slide it in, turn it, and there you go. I got myself a boat seat for the John boat. Okay, we're gonna go put it on the uh, John boat here with our little handy tool with the slot. It's just a PVC half inch or three quarter inch, one of those things. All right, so I don't have to grab it anymore. I got this baby right there. Load her up the John boat, headed out to the local lake, go and see if we can catch a few fish this past Sunday. Okay, we're here at Mallard Park, Lake Levon. It's a Saturday, or correction, Sunday. I'm gonna see if we can get some, some fish today. Taking out that 2.5 Suzuki in our 12 foot John boat. Let's go get the cast net out and maybe get some shad we can use for bait. If not, we got our crappie jigs. And hopefully yours truly will be able to uh, Get something in here shortly. Let's see if we got some shed. See if we got some shed here on the boat ramp, baby. Let's see. Oh yeah, we got some shed. Nice. Good start. Little guys, but they count. Let's go put them in some water. All right, okay, we got some shad on that first throw, so let me get some more shad on this next throw. They we're kind of small, but they count. Just need enough to be able to maybe catch a fish or two. See what we got. All right, looks like we got more. All right. Yeah, a little bit bigger. Good stuff. Okay, we got enough to, to get started. So, let's just see if we can get one more cast in and then we're going to get ready to go. Yeah, Charlie over there thinks he's a, he's a water dog. <laughs> All right, there's another one. There's a bigger one, just one though. All right, let's get ready. 
ready to go. You all right? <laughs> you all right? All right, it's working. We are just gonna head out a little bit down the ways here. All right, we got Charlie here and we got a little sabiki rig set up. <laughs> All right, looks like Charlie's into the uh, boating experience. We're just kind of doing a little bound and bouncing troll. We're going to try getting to some shallow area. See if we can get them to hit over there. All right, got a little hit. Kind of hit it and he stopped. Let's see. Yeah, something tore it up. <laughs> that was a hit. Off the bait. I'll rebait it. Nice. El catfish. Get him over, oh, yeah, get him over yeah, yeah, I'll get him. I'll get him. Alright, first fish of the day. Went for uh, some shad on a on a jig. It's a nice one, blue cat. Alright. Alright. Got a fighter. What is he? He's big. <laughs> oh, oh, Charlie. Oh, it's two. Oh, you got a, you got a, a white, oh, no, no, no. You got a white bass, that's a keeper. And a catfish, all right. They got something all over you. Got a double, yeah, they crapped on me. He may be off already. He's on? Oh, that's a nice one. And you got a double again. Oh, that's a catfish. He's pretty heavy feeling though for a little guy. Oh, look at his belly. oh yeah. Wonder if he's eating a lot of shad. Oh yeah, he is. Went for that that one with the jig on it again. Alright, nice one. Look at that, Charlie. Catfish. It's a nice dinner. <laughs> Alright, so far uh, doing really good. Uh, got a double white bass and a catfish and then also got uh, two two other catfish so a total of four right now enough to do a uh, fish for dinner good stuff all right getting another hit here let's see if he'll take it this time he's playing with it still playing with it Got him. Oh, he's on. He's on. Fish on. Fish on. Let's see. It's another eater sized catfish. Oh, he took the top bait though. That's what the first bite probably was. All right. Looks like a eater sized catfish. Something was playing with it and I, it stopped and then it, then I saw it take it again. Yeah, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you get him? What is he? You think so? We'll see. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, it's a catfish. Right there, hold it there. Alright, that's a blue. The other one was a, a channel. Charlie! <laughs> 